Well, hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Tracy Tim, and you are watching The Nth Degree TV, the place to be to take your career from stuck to unstoppable. If you want to find a career that you love and not just one that looks good on paper, then you are in the right place. This week, I'd like to share a personal experience that created some massive insights for me, both personally and professionally. And I believe that through this story, you can find ways to challenge yourself and learn some valuable life lessons along the way. This past weekend, I participated in an event called 29029, otherwise known to challenge participants as Everesting. Prior to this event, I was unaware, but apparently Mount Everest, the highest mountain summit in the world, is exactly 29,029 vertical feet. What? In honor of that number, 29029 founder Jesse Itzler has created this one-of-a-kind racing event to test your mind, body, and soul. The challenge is really simple. Hike the vertical equivalent of Everest over the span of 13 hikes on a privately rented mountain in 36 hours or less. No small feat even for the fittest among us. Now, a few months ago, I was contacted by my business coach with this invitation. She had been working with Jesse over the past few years, and he had invited her to his next event in Utah the last weekend of August. She explained the hiking, the challenge, the premise, and her connection to the event, and then she asked me if I wanted to join her challenge posse. I don't know about you, but in case this isn't painfully obvious already, I am not what you might consider outdoorsy. <laughs> no. Inside, good. <laughs> Outside, bad. In fact, my idea of a fun outdoor activity is eating brunch and drinking mimosas on a patio. So you can imagine my shock and utter confusion at this invitation in the first place. I calmly explained to my coach that I had 0.0, .0 interest in this event for one specific reason. The weekend prior to her phone call, I had participated in a hike on Camelback Mountain, which is in Scottsdale, Arizona. Between the insane vertical height, the horrible rocky terrain, and the 100 degree weather, four hours later of hiking, I had sworn that thing off for good. Never was I ever going to drag this body of mine up anything remotely resembling a mountain ever again. Period, full stop, conversation over. <laughs> I was not getting out so easily. My business coach can be insanely persuasive. So an hour later, after she described the beautiful base camp and the village with bands and bonfires and luxury TP tents and food and drinks and the incredible opportunity to network with some of the coolest and most successful people on the planet, well, my mind started to forget all about the challenge itself and started to look at the upside. I figured if I just sucked it up and did something that I really wasn't going to enjoy doing, I could reap all the other benefits that this event could provide. Little did I know what I was getting myself into. 12 weeks of training, one flight to Utah, 36 hours of hiking, and one flight home, I can safely say without a doubt that this weekend's event was one of the hardest things, mentally, physically, personally, that I have ever done in my life. I'm taking a nap! You want to take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. Good night. Good night. But thankfully for me, and mostly for you, I learned a few insanely valuable lessons along the way. And over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to share my greatest insights from this event with you. The very first one being this. If you want to grow, you have to go. Life is going to offer you countless opportunities to expand your definition of what's possible, what you're capable of, and what this life holds for you. And it's our job to be good consumers of these opportunities. We have to remain open to what's possible for our lives, and we cannot do that if our initial reaction to anything new or anything hard is an immediate and resounding no. Now, this doesn't mean you have to jump out of a plane or bet all of your money on red. It does mean that you have to challenge yourself and say yes to the people, the opportunities, and the experiences that are going to allow you to grow into the person that you were meant to be, into the best version of yourself. I know it sounds cheesy, but this event touched my soul. It forced me to question some of the core beliefs that I have about myself 
It forced me to put into practice lessons that I had been preaching for years, and it forced me to embrace some of the worst parts of myself, the parts that I like to pretend aren't really there. And most of all, it forced me to look at myself and my business differently in the best way possible. A whole new world. I want that transformation for you. If you're stuck, confused, overwhelmed, or unsure of what to do in your life and your career, that's okay. That's normal. But what's not okay is allowing yourself to settle there. What's not okay is being comfortably miserable and telling yourself that there's no way out, that this is just the life that you have to be okay with. You are meant for so much more, and the very best way to get there is to challenge yourself to do the hard things. I can't wait to share my other insights with you over the next couple weeks. So check back in every Tuesday to get your next Timbit from the summit. I promise this won't disappoint because these are some zingers. So now I want to hear from you. Have you ever stepped out of your comfort zone and challenged your own beliefs, especially about yourself? And if so, what did you learn from that experience? I cannot wait to hear from you about your career journey, so please leave a comment below this video. Also, you can get the discussion going on our sweet little space on the World Wide Web, TracyTim.com. So if you'd like to, get on over there and leave a comment now. While you're there, make sure that you take advantage of our new free offerings. There you can sign up for a free webinar on jumpstarting your career, or you can download our free career clarity starter kit. Either way, don't wait. You deserve a job and a life that you love, and these resources can be the first step on that road to clarity. Did you like this video? I hope so, because I did. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some other videos that you might find helpful. And that's a wrap for today. Remember, now is your time. With a proven strategy, guided introspection, and a step-by-step -step plan, I promise that we can take your career from stuck to unstoppable. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of The Nth Degree TV. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, no, it went away. Ah, shoot. It forced me to put into practices. That was wrong. <laughs> I had participated in a hike on, in, in, in a hike. <laughs> an anemone. <laughs> you live in what kind of home? An anemone. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself.